What's up, family? It is Mr. Extraordin. Actually, I'm going to be calling you guys Extraordinaires from now on, all right? Because that's what you are to me, all right? Extraordinaires. All right. Anyway, so what do I want, what do I want to talk about? I want to talk about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Heroes in a Half Shell, Turtle Power. Anyway, um, so there's a new movie coming out um, called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. Um, it got released recently and uh, it shows, well, basically the latest iteration of these characters. Um, I mean, it's one of the strongest IPs that we have in the world, if you think about it. Uh, originally created by Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird in the 1980s. And it's been quite re relevant ever since. I mean, those guys were just independent comic book artists, writers. And uh, thanks to a toy company and a cartoon series that was released in the 80s, um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles have become one of the most prominent comic book characters of all time. Um, the four characters were based, well, or rather named by, uh, from um, Renaissance artists like your Leonardo da Vinci or Leonardo Michelangelo, you know, the famous one who created the Statue of David, uh, Raphael and Donatello. And um, in this iteration, um, the, screen, the screenplay was done by Seth Rogen and even I think it's even Goldberg if I'm not mistaken yeah and these two obviously have done some nice films over the years um, I mean super bad being one of them um, they've worked on Preacher they've worked on Invincible their series uh, which is which has um, season two currently in development uh, we got sort of like a trailer of season two but not really a trailer um, and uh, it's good to see that in the in the voice cast you have Jackie Chan as Master Splinter, which is great, because he's basically playing another mentor role since um, the Karate Kid, and I guess you could say also in Kung Fu Panda because he also voiced a cartoon there. And funny in story, Seth Rogen also voiced a cartoon character in Kung Fu Panda, so that's really cool. And Seth Rogen also worked with Rose Bryan when they were doing. Um, what neighbors is it neighbors or the neighbors that film and also it's sequel there were a couple there so rose Bryan is in there i think she plays leather head there you have hannibal Buress, um who's a comedian if i'm not mistaken uh, he's going to be playing one of the characters i think rock uh no not rocksteady just one of the characters i forgot who um you have john cena playing rocksteady seth rogan himself playing bebop um and it's always good to see rocksteady and bebop i mean those Two characters are also iconic in their own right. Um, and then you have April O'Neil. Um, and um, lately, April O'Neil has been portrayed as a black character, which is cool. Uh, I mean, I saw a video somewhere that sh shows that April initially was black anyway. Um, to be honest, I'm not bothered by uh, a character being a different race. To me, it doesn't really matter. Maybe it's because I grew up watching a lot of DC um, animated series um, and other properties where these characters uh, were a different race. Some of these characters that we know of or have been exposed to would be different races. And it didn't really bother me, if I'm being honest. So I don't really mind, you know, as long as at the end of the day, it doesn't change anything about the character. So uh, it shouldn't be a problem. Anyway, um, the thing that I like the most about this iteration of the film, I mean, it's just a trailer, but from the trailer, what I have witnessed is that these four teenagers, uh, these four characters are actually voiced by actual teenagers. I'm not sure if they're teenagers or young adults, I don't know, but uh, the voices, you could tell. I mean, especially the one who voices Donatello. The voice is that of a teenager. Which is pretty cool because we like saying it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but usually they look like they're in their 20s. They look like adults already. But these ones look young, extremely young. So it will definitely appeal more to the kids um, and teenagers. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And I think it will be great. I mean, Seth Rogen and even uh, Goldberg have done some great things, especially comic book related um, stories. 
I don't I've never been disappointed by both of them actually ever since they've started doing any of the projects maybe Pineapple Express is not my favorite because I've never really I've never smoked weed in my life so I cannot ever relate to that movie when people laugh I don't get the jokes uh, I feel like they're just you know flying off my head but um, apart from that every other thing that they have done has been comedy gold for in my opinion I don't care what the audience says or thinks I think they've done great projects over the years so um, I'm actually looking forward to it I'll send the link in the description below let me know your thoughts um, are you a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fan who is your favorite turtle um, which iteration is your favorite personally uh, the 2003 version is my favorite. My favorite character or my favorite turtle is Leonardo, followed by Donatello. Um, I guess I'd say it's a draw between Raphael and Michelangelo. I've loved all of them at different points of life, but I think the consistent character that I've liked, liked, liked the most over the years is uh, Leo or Donatello. Either Leo or Donatello, one of the two. Uh, maybe I'll limit on the 1987 song because they do it in that order. Leonardo leads, Donatello does machines, Raphael is cool but rude, Michelangelo is a party dude. So there's always been something, you know, about that. Also, Leonardo is the leader, has honor, you know, uh, which is something that Splinter actually says in the, seri in, on, on the trailer that, uh, you know, uh, Leonardo has, um, has honor. Um, so anyway... Check out the link, let me know your thoughts, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave your comments, uh, you can share this video for any TMNT fans and uh, let me know man, let's have this discussion and take it from there. I mean there's a lot happening in Hollywood, um, I know that there's a writer's strike happening but you can see some of these projects actually have been done before the writer's strike so um, hopefully it's gonna be a fun uh, journey going forward. Um, with some of these projects I hope it doesn't disappoint but we'll see alright let me know your thoughts again and uh, I'll definitely definitely see you on the next one. Oh, by the way I'm not quite sure if Shredder is gonna be in this version we haven't seen anything but uh, you know it's just the first trailer you know nowadays with movies they do two or three trailers uh, before the movie is released so I don't know and I also don't know which um, animation studio did this um, version of the film but it seems like it might be the same animation studio that did <coughs> sorry Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse not sure but I'm getting those vibes from them could be wrong uh, but uh, yeah it looks really great uh, anyway like I said um, I'll definitely see you on the next one so yeah, let me know your thoughts, don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers.